in practical session before pressing power button what are the input io will have and what are the output it gives so those things we will check practically here is the pin number 34 ac led ash this is the first voltage to io input because the once you connect the uh, adapter so there will be a white led will glow right so that input goes to the io so let us check it's a pin number 34 See this is 33 and here is the 34 now i'm going to check pin number 34 see it's a 3.2 volts next is thermal related information that is a ph related vc in pin number is 109 okay and then ac ok 110 these two we will check now it's a pin number 109 and 110 okay 109 is the thermal related information ph vc in 0 here vc in 1 110 okay both we will check now the pin number 109 see it has 2.75 volts pin number 109 and 110 ac okay that also having 2.94 volts total three inputs over now the pin number 114 and 115 what it contains see 114 is on and off second one is lead switch there should be 3.3 volts okay more than 3 volts or 2.8 something so let us check practically it's a, now i'm going to check on and off in io the io on and off is here is a 110 15 14 see it's a 2.9 volts on and off and 15 15 see 3.1 volts it's a lead switch now the information what we got one is ac in i mean sorry ac led ash second one is ph related means thermal related information third one is ac in fourth one is ac uh, sorry this one what is that on and off uh, switch next one is lead switch these all are the input the io basically gets now the first reset signal ec rst pin number 37 what will be the voltage 30 3 34 35 36 37 see the first reset signal is 3.2 volts okay when we press this i mean when we test this so one time light will off and it will re on because it's a reset one okay the first once you confirm the on and off lead and uh, Uh, ph related information the reset will happen what that ec reset okay these all are input signals actually ec reset is a open drain source it occupies 3 volts from out source now what are the output we will get that we will check one by one pin number 30 it's a e51 txd it's a first output so what voltage we are getting here so we are getting 3.2 volts the next output is pin number 98 it's a wireless power enable so let us check pin number 98 here is a 97 and 98 What the voltage? 3.2 volts means it's a wireless enable ash. Here USB on ash. Next output is USB on ash. It's a pin number 101. Okay, so 101. So 100. This one is 3.2 volts. It's a 101. 3.2 volts. This one is USB on ash. Okay. now what are the output we got everything i showed you so now once again randomly i'll one more important uh, voltage that is rsm rst ash 
सी अंटिल अनलेस यू गेट द ई सी आन यू वोट गेट दिस आर एस एम आर एस टी सी इयर इट्स सेल्फ इट्स हंड्रेड आई विल शो यू हंड्रेड इज इयर सी देर इज नो आर एस एम आर एस टी इट्स इन लो ओके दीज आल आर द इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट्स आई यो विल गेट now we will check coil voltages what are the main coil voltages are available in this condition means it's before pressing power button see here is a coil what is that it's uh, plb1 okay it's a battery section coil so what voltage we are getting we are getting 2.8 volts so it means battery section is enable now Once you connect the battery, it will add up this voltage. Okay. In case eleven voltage will be there, then it will add up two uh, volts. It's thirteen voltage will be there. Okay. That is a better section. So now one more coil is here. So that is the core or some other section. Okay. All coil we will check. This no voltage. Here first voltage is. 2.5 something. Here there is no voltage in this coil. Okay. Here there will be no voltage. If voltage is there, then I will tell you the coil name. Here is the ram section. There is no voltage. Is the one more coil? There is no voltage, and this section has total three coils. Is this no voltage? Okay. Other coil is here. No voltage. The one more coil is here. that one also no voltage hmm it's not it connected see that one also no voltage so what are the voltage it has now we checked now this is the rtc cell rtc cell as 3.3 volts okay this is rtc cell only the rtc is available when rtc is available then rtc reset will happen in pch okay now i will show you the rtc x1 and rtc x2 crystal yc2 so it will be activated or not that i will show you see here this is the crystal it looks like this one side that is frequency 32.75 kilo hertz okay this is a rtc crystal one side and other side See other side, some difference will be there, right? So it looks like this. This is the trigger mode. Here is the RTC section. RTC means it's a PCH RTC X2 and PCH RTC X1. The frequency will be 32.75 kilo hertz frequency. See these. All of the voltage and frequencies we will get before pressing power button. Okay, next session. So, what will be the PCH related voltage and normal I/O related voltage and coil voltages after pressing power button? In practically and theoretically, we will check one by one. Okay, thank you, thank you very much.